Hey, hi. I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Quiet Scope Dreams Tarot. It's time for another reading. This is a Deviant Tarot, and then we have the Majestic deck. Majesty deck, excuse me. These cards are pretty sharp. I'm just going to get a general energy card to start out here. First card out, we have the High Priestess. Okay, somebody is using their intuition, right? They're really thinking about what's really going on here. So something might be happening that somebody really needs to dig deep and find their inner intuitiveness, right? Now, in the reverse, somebody's not really quite doing the thinking that they should, right? Whatever's coming to them, they're just kind of thinking, oh, okay, that's fine. But no, we don't want to do that. Use your intuition. Get that gut feeling and know what you want and, and speak it out, okay? Let's go ahead and start out here with five cards. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Uh, as you know, uh, you know, I'm going to be rushing through these. So hopefully you have your reference guides here. Uh, and uh, you can like the video if you want, but you don't have to. You know, if you're just here to learn or hear the story, that's okay too. If you are new here, I do suggest you get yourself a, tar a tarot deck of your own. And uh, try to learn the tarot if you can, so you know that when you are receiving a reading that, uh, you know, things are coming out properly and you understand what's going on, okay? And if you like the way I read, you can also uh, subscribe and like, but it's up to you. I'm here to help you regardless, okay? Bottom of the deck, we do have the Fool taking that leap of faith. Wanted to give this a try. Somebody might want to come into somebody and speak to them. And they say, I want to take a leap of faith with you. I want to try this out. Now we have somebody here who's possibly just thinking about it. But they're not taking any action. Right? So think about that too. This is a card of Aries. Right? Let's see what we got starting out here. We have the Seven of Swords. There's some deception here. Somebody that, And this is why the High Priestess is there. Okay, we have somebody who may realize something with that sun card. They may be enlightened to a situation. They might realize that somebody's being deceptive. Now, we also have the nine of cups in the reverse. Now, this is not wish fulfillment. This is selfishness and excess. So somebody's going to be coming around. They're going to be deceiving someone, right? But somebody's going to realize this deceit because they're using their intuition. They're going to realize that somebody is coming back for selfish reasons, okay? We also have... The Ten of Swords, right? Now somebody here is also worried, is this person here uh, trying to stab me in the back? It might be, it might be, but we'll find out more. We have the Ace of Pentacles, right? And it could be that somebody might be trying to, you know, come back because they're trying to get away with something, trying to get away with possible somebody's finances, uh, trying to unbalance somebody because the Pentacles is about earth grounding and balance. So, you know, Somebody might be trying to be doing something sneaky here, so be careful. I just saw we have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. That's also the Emperor. But it was at the bottom of the deck. The decks are pre-shuffled, so let's start now. Tell me about this Seven of Swords. All right. So we do have uh, somebody is feeling sad over the loss of this relationship, right? They feel deceived here, right? Somebody might be coming in to make an offer, but whether that offer is taken, we don't know, right? Because somebody feels that they were backstabbed and they're trying to let these knives fall out of their back. They're trying to feel better about this situation. But if they were deceived, it's going to be kind of hard. We have the three of uh, cups here. Somebody might have been in a third party situation. And that's where the this is, deception is, all right? Somebody's going to try to make an offer. Maybe they're going to say, oh, I'm not doing that anymore or whatever. You know, they might be true. It might be true. But you know what? It looks like, you know, 50-50, it's, they're still dealing with that, okay? The sun card. Somebody realized something, you know, sun card's card of Leo. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Somebody could have been dealing with a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody who's very unstable, greedy, selfish, right? Uh, we have the, also have the Seven of Cups here. This person uh, is claiming not to be an option or doesn't want to be an option, but this is also the Chariot card, right? Card of Cancer. And this could also tell me that somebody's not willing to move forward with somebody. So what's going on here? If somebody might be coming back and saying, oh, you know, this happened to me, that happened to me. 
and uh, you know, somebody doesn't want to move forward with them, right? There's a the truth, right? Somebody does not want to move forward with them because somebody feels like somebody here is lying about something or someone let somebody go and said, I don't want you no more. So they're running away and going to another person because this is a third party situation. I feel somebody may have fallen out with a third party and is trying to come back to somebody who they deceived in the past, trying to take a leap of faith. But it looks like that person from the past is high priestess energy. She's going to use her intuition and figure this out. She's going to figure out that somebody here is not going to move forward or somebody uh, tried to use somebody as an option. And, and they don't want to move forward with that person, right? Because that person made them feel like they were in jail, like they couldn't do anything. They couldn't move, uh, you know, stuff like that. And maybe the other person was a little more free for them. So they're trying to come back to that person who made them feel free because the past person made them feel like they were in jail. Okay. Well, if the past person was doing bad, I mean, I could understand that. No, you cannot go out because you've been doing bad things when you go out, right? Something like that. Selfishness. Somebody's being selfish and they're going to try to come back and work another person, right? They're, oh, I love you. I miss you. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, listen to what happened to me, this, that, and the other. But they're not even revealing the bad stuff they did to you in the past. So do you really care what this person has to say, right? They're going to claim that the past person or the person that they're coming from maybe hurt them or deceive or whatever they did. But is this person even bringing up what they did to you? So it kind of feels like, it doesn't feel very good. Look, there's that emperor again. This person could be an emperor right now, right? Uh, maybe this person is coming back to be honest. And and you know what? Usually when somebody has to do that, that is kind of like emperor energy. He's honest. He's forthright, right? He wants success in this situation and he thinks he's going to get it. He may or may not. It all depends. Uh, because somebody here is defensive, right? In this situation. But somebody here is releasing those defenses and possibly coming in with truth. Well, that's nice and all, but if this person got themselves in a situation that made them unhappy, whose fault is that? It's not, it's not yours, right? Now we have the uh, fool card again, fool and fool, right? Somebody here could have Aries in their chart, Emperor energy is Aries, and then we also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius because of the King of Swords. Somebody is, you know, worried about getting backstabbed, right? They want to take a leap of faith. So somebody could be guarded because of the situation they were in nine of pentacles they are single now okay somebody here is single and you know they're guarded because they're worried and okay they want to come back they want to talk but they're worried that you're going to do the same thing that that third party did to them right they want to have uh the ten of cups with you you know happy family happy home look there it is that's kind of like a couple right there queen of swords but you know what with the queen of swords you can't lie to this person she will cut you out of her life because she has been through shit too. She knows what's going on and she will be able to catch you in those lies because she is also high priestess energy. All right. I feel like that's the same person. Ace of Pentacles in the end. They want to start something brand new. They want to be balanced and stable. They want to try to, you know, start from the bottom. Now we're here, right? Nine of Wands. They want to fight for this one final time, right? They've been through battle. They want to know... Can you go through this with them again? Now, I do see the Two of Cups here. Uh, it's upright, so that's kind of good. So this is someone you loved and they loved you back, but it just didn't work out because somebody did something deceptive in the past. Two of Pentacles, right? Somebody may have been juggling, right? But look at that Ace of Pentacles sandwich. They want to start something new. They want it to be stable. They want it with you. But they're coming back and complaining about what they just went through. But did they really apologize to what they did to you? Think about that. You know, you, they want you to, to coddle them and, you know, rock them and, oh, my poor baby. But what about what they did to you? You know, so this is something that someone has to think about. King of Wands, right? This is also the magician. They are trying to manifest this into fruition. Some people here might be honest about the whole thing. They might even say that they're sorry about the past. But somebody here is definitely going to also be trying to manipulate a situation so they can get their way. Mm. I don't know about that, you guys. Anyways, if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types.
We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!